Right then, I'm at um, Winscombe. I've just noticed a stile back there. I'm not sure if that would have been a quicker way to the church, across fields rather than this way. But this way is quite interesting, going past this old cottage. It's got history to this cottage. Um, it says it on the doorway. Um, it's obviously no one in a uh, nut tree farm. This building, let me just zoom in on it a minute. Originally it was a farmhouse, now much extended. Thick outer walls, floor original, two room cross passage. It's typical of Winscombe during this period. So nut tree farm. But nobody loves it anymore, look. Nobody loves it, it's abandoned. What a shame. Look, the old steps where you could get on your horse. Climb up there and you could get on your horse, you see. You don't see that very often either. Not yet, it might come back one day. I'm just doing a small video as an introduction to today's walk. I did a lot of walking yesterday over um, Stirrup Marshes. Uh, I only just really touched upon it and got to go back there. See, there's another footpath there. There's all these footpaths that I don't know about and I haven't really observed them before. I don't even know where that goes. Could lead you to Loxton, a quicker way where you don't have to go up the hill. <laughs> yeah, I videoed this a few times. This is a very pretty village. Um, well kept and it's, it does have quite a lot of traffic actually believe it or not um, Although it appears quiet at a certain time of the day <laughs> People have to come down off the hills and the farms using this road you see But I've got a feeling now that I've just seen a couple of footpaths that I haven't <sighs> I haven't really um I haven't really uh, noticed before. I haven't really. Oh. Yeah, see what I mean about the traffic coming? It's quite a lot of it now. Loads of it actually. I'm going to turn off. Right, I'm still in Winscombe, slowly walking up the path. There's a lovely stream here. Right in next to somebody's cottage. And it goes under there, under a grill. I don't know where it goes after that because I didn't see it further down. It must go somewhere. Coming down off the hills. It's quite a busy road, like I say. There's uh, lots of cars that have to come this way and uh, well, they take shortcuts. So I'm, I'm actually on a quite a dangerous bend really. There's a little bridge, look, a huge slab. It was like a massive gravestone. It's very pretty, isn't it? I think so. I think it's worth videoing, it's so pretty. And the, obviously the water goes under there. Probably it's coming off the Mendips, that's for sure. Because there's one section that comes down here. It's all very old, this part. This must be the mansion or something. Wyvern House. And then you've got the the stream, look, coming down through that a shaded brook, look. My plan today is to walk back to Western. I don't know if I will make it. I want to do St. Leonard's Church, so we'll have to see. We might end up coming up to Winscombe, yeah. It's all rather pretty, but like I say, there's a lot of cars. There's a very old tree, that one there. Look how thick the trunk is. <coughs> I'll just do a little bit more video walking through the village. I found an old penny further up once, one of my visits. It was um, a picture of Queen Victoria on it, 
Nin- and it was, um, I think it was 1901 or something like that. <sighs> or, or something like that. Might have been earlier. It might have been 18... No, it was earlier. It was 18-something. It's Queen Victoria on it. I was just walking along and um, something caught my eye in the hedge. And it was a penny. Victorian penny. So you never know, because years ago they used to throw pennies at the bride and groom. Some places did. The villagers. Or or the bride and groom threw pennies out. I never know which way round it was. Right, I'll turn off again. Got to go up a little steep of a little bit of hell. Um, all the way, all the while, aware that there is probably a public footpath across the field nearby that I could have done instead. <sighs> Something to be investigated another time. Over and out.